Hello and welcome to this episode of At The Engineer's Bench. My name is Frank Malik and today we are talking about the new evaluation kit for the smart MCD device TB9M003. If you get the board, you will receive it in this nice package. If you unpack it, it will look like this. And now have a closer look at all the connectors and functions. On the top right side you see the BLDC motor connector and left to it the power connector. Also on the top side you have the USB-C for the CMDIS DAP connection and beside this the external JTAG SWD connector for an external debugger. If you want to use serial communication you will find a USB-C connector also on this edge of the board. On the left side we have an I.O. pin header for all the signals available in the Smart MCD device, either for measurement or other purposes. On the bottom side, you have the hall sensor connector, including the power supply for the hall sensors, and right to it, the LIN bus connector and the status LEDs. On the right side of the board, you will find the onboard power stage, and also the external piggyback connector to connect a piggyback board with higher power capabilities. The single shunt resistor for the current measurement is also at this point. Going back to the left side, you will find the mode switch and also the reset button. An additional user control button is also available at this point. Now I've placed the board on this small demo system together with the BLDC motor and already connected the 12 volt power supply to the board and I have a USB connector to be used for the CMDIS DAP now connected and we can already take a look at the development environment. If you start the development environment you will see a screen like this with all the most important files, like the main file, with the configuration files, and of course what's very important is the motor definition file, where customers can set their own motor definitions and also set parameters like startup behavior or the, all the parameters for the PI regulators of the field-oriented control. If you compile this, it should be error-free and then you can download this code to the board using the load button. If this is done, you can already use the graphical interface Smart MCD Motor Studio and now we will go over to this graphical environment to show how this will work with a real system. As we have the firmware now uh, on the board, we will exchange the USB connector from this one to the USB connection for communication as we want to use the graphical interface and this uses the standard UART communication. And the program is called Smart MCD Motor Studio. So have a look. Motor Studio is the graphical environment to control the motor, may have a quick startup and also configure the motor for the application. On the left side you have most of the motor parameters and if you go down in this window you will also get the parameters for the different PI controllers in the system for field-oriented control. In the middle you have the statistic window. On the bottom there is the digital storage oscilloscope and on the right side you have a very simple setting for the speed and start-stop. Let's have a look at the statistic window. You can start the statistic window and get information about the actual speed, the current, the target speed and also the actual torque of the motor. Let's simply start the motor here. You see the setting of the target speed and how the real speed approaches this target speed and if the motor goes into FOC, you also see that the current is going down. You can 
move this window as you like. You can also zoom in, zoom out. So very flexible and continue with measurement of the different signals. If you want to see more details about the functionalities, you have this integrated digital storage oscilloscope. You select up to four signals. Partly these are information of the internal registers of the vector engine and start the DSO and get a snapshot of this situation. In this case, the output voltages of the motor. Same applies, of course, for other parameters. Up to four parameters can be selected and also user parameters can be set. Any action that is not influencing the motor in, uh, negatively are activated and not grayed out, so like this parameter here, or also the PI, PI regulator parameters, and all other parameters that should not be changed by a rotating motor are grayed out and disabled at this moment. If you stop the motor, you can set all parameters that are available. With the function of the parameter save, you can save a known good configuration to an XML file. This was Motor Studio and what I have shown you in this uh, short episode is the evaluation board for Smart MCD, the development environment for software development and also Motor Studio for Smart MCD to configure and start your motor very easily. Thank you very much for your attendance and if you have any questions we are very happy to support you.